Now then, I'm just on my uh, local river, it's that time again to go for uh, some river ride and some big roach. Now the problem is to find them. I've been walking two miles and I haven't seen any roach and I haven't seen any hide. But the weed's up nearly to the surface so it's going to make it hard to fish spot. But usually, you know, the, uh, the roach give themselves away by eating flies on the surface and so do the hide. You know, so um, I'm going to keep walking until I can find a few fish and then uh, bait up for them a uh, couple of days without fishing just to gain the confidence and uh, come one early morning and see if we can catch a few fish. Yeah, the swifts have arrived and they're going up and down the river having a drink and now they're just resting on that rope. I just love fishing, all the things you see. Just absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I think they're actually uh, young swifts, these ones. I keep seeing the uh, the mother coming and feeding them. So I think they're, uh, yeah, there we are. There we are, she's just fed one of them. Yeah, she's been doing that all morning. I just love nature, as you've guessed. Right, let's uh, carry on with the fishing. Yeah, so again, I'm just going to put a few pieces of bread out there. See if we can catch another big eyed. Or possibly a roach. Yeah, don't be shy with your bread. Put 5, 10, 15, 20 pieces out, they'll still get eaten. Yeah, size 10 hook and just hook a piece of bread just like that. Just float that along the surface and hopefully a big eyed is going to come up and grab this piece of bread. Let's cast it in and see what happens. Now just let that trot downstream now. Ooh, another roach is on, on the bread. Oh, it's a nice roach, that's getting on for a pound this roach. Right. Let's. Come on, Mr. Roach. There we go. Gotcha. Yeah, look at that, a nice big river roach on bread flake. Let's take him and have a look and see. He's around about a pound, I think. Yeah, it was nicely hooked, just in the scissors. Now this one's got a bit of a bit of a mark on, but it's a nice river roach. It's not a bad fish at all for a river, considering the cormorants are on here. We've caught one that's already damaged. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, the sun's high in the sky now and uh, I've managed a 14 ounce river roach on floated bread. But uh, I don't think we're going to get any more now, so... So here's my beautiful river roach, 14 ounces. It's not big for a roach, but considering there's a load of predation on here, otters and cormorants. I'm quite chuffed with that. I didn't connect with one of the bigger ones today, but uh, this'll do me today. This is a, 
a nice fish. So uh, we'll put it back without further ado and uh, pack up and go home and uh, try another day I think. But I'm quite happy with that. There's my roach. It's just nestling amongst the reeds. That was a nice roach that. 14 ounce. Off she goes along the side. Just got a nice roach on floating bread. It looks to be marked this one. Looks like it's been had by a cormorant. Yeah, you can see this roach has been had either by the otter or a cormorant. It's got a real big gash there. I mean, this is a good fish. This is eight ounces. But this fish is lucky to be alive. So let's return him to the river and let nature take its course. I say the predation on our rivers is not is not good at all. all. All good fish like this being scarred, it's not good. Yeah, the mist is just rising. It's a beautiful part of the morning on the river. Bit, bit misty. About 20 past five. Lovely. Haven't seen the barn owl yet though. Yeah, my bread's just going down nicely now. Jesus. Oh, it's got me straight in the weed. Oh no, this is not good. On this light tackle. Come on. Nice big eyed on floating bread crust. <sighs> In the neck she goes. Yeah, another beautiful early morning eyed, and this one is in good condition. Fully scaled. That's well, a lovely big fish for early morning. Took floating crust. Here we have another big river eyed, four pound eleven on floating crust. Well, done it again, got another nice eye out, £4.11 on floating crust, actually there's a few big roach out there doing the same thing, so I was hoping one of them would take it because I've never had a £2 roach, and some of those fish I've seen are nigh on £2 or just over. Look at that, another beautiful fish, this one's in good condition, 
no scarring or marks from the otter or cormorants and uh, put one hell of a scrap I caught it in the middle just floating bread size 10 hook that simple so uh, I've seen one or two big roach out there so I'm gonna go see if I can put some more bread in and see if we can get some more of those so uh, now that's a lovely fish right let's go put it back and uh, see if we can get one of them big roach yeah here we have my river ride another one four pound eleven they all seem to be the same sort of size nice stamp of fish and as you can see it's got a big mouth and it sucked that bread in no problem let's see if we can get one or two of those big roach as I say fin perfect yeah I'm Lovely. just going to put me, me eye just in at the side like so give it a chance to recover Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do, piece of bread, just take off the crust bits. I usually do about 10 pieces, something like that. Like so. It's pretty simple. Anybody can do it. And then, I'm just going to throw this just into the middle of the river and let it float downstream. See if I can get some more hide and some more roach. I'll just put one or two more pieces out there. That's good. Lovely. Yeah, you can see me floating crust. Just going downstream. And fingers crossed. One or two eyed. Especially the slightly bigger ones. I mean, that £4.11 was fantastic. But... Uh, there are some bigger ones in here and some big roach so fingers crossed we might catch one yeah I've just got a, a chub on floated bread I mean it's not big it's probably about half a pound but they've just restocked this river because of all the predation so that's a good sign if this one survives the otters and cormorants this should become a big fish right we'll uh, just put this one just in at the side Well, it's not a, it's not an hide, but uh, it's a welcome fish today because the hide have really been very difficult to catch. Got a nice trout. It's only about six ounces. Nice trout. I say there ain't many in the river hull. Yeah, they've got a nice coloration on these trout. Well, here's my trout. It's a rainbow. In good condition. Nice perfect fins. Don't believe it took a piece of bread flake. Right, let's get this one straight back. Yeah, we'll put him back just in it. Just in at the side of this boat. Yeah, he's just having a, a relax. There he is. Turn the right way now. There he goes. Yeah, I've got one or two eyed now. Just taking the crust off the surface. It's slowly going down there. Just in the middle of the river. Amongst the, uh, the weeds. Wait a minute. There's one coming up for it now. Yes! Come on. 
Oh, it's a good fish, this one. Come on. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, just got a nice river ride on. It's a nice fish. Took a piece of floating bread on the surface. It's a good fish, looks about four to five pounds. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Nice eyed. And there she is, nicely in my landing net. Nice big river fish. She's heavy. Oh yeah, she's heavy. Yeah, that is one heavy river ride. Right, let's unhook her and see how much she weighs. Well, it's took me about three hours, but finally, I've got one of these river hull eyed. It's a nice fish. Took uh, floating bread past a weed bed. Right, let's weigh him. Yeah, nice side, four pound ten. Off the top. Well, that was a bit exciting. Floating bread on the surface on the river. Just going past a weed bed. Uh, got a beautiful take. Four pound ten ounce side. It's been really hard this morning, but this fish has really been worth it. There's another river hull eyed. Yeah, what a scrap in the middle of the river. But uh, I'm quite chuffed with that. It's my second attempt out, and uh, I've got a beautiful eyed. I did see some bigger ones, but uh, out there, but I am. Uh, chuffed to bits with this fish. So uh, let's put it back and see if we can get another one, but normally here you get one and that's it. Lovely. Here we go, here's my river ride being returned. There she goes, into the depth of the river. Yeah, the float I'm using is from Drennan and uh, it's a, a carp float and it's got a weight just at the bottom and that helps me just cast that little bit further where the eyed are in the middle of the river in the weeds and trot down. Another ad on floating bread. This looks like a lovely fish. Oh yeah, that's got to be five pound plus this one. Just floating it, just in the middle of the river. Just, just past all these weeds. 
Right, let's take a look and have a picture, I think. Yeah, nicely hooked. What a mouth, no wonder they can uh, suck bread in. Let's just get that hook out. Oh. <sighs> Bit lively this one, it's a lovely fish. Uh, one or two markings there. Well, that could have been because of spawning. Beautiful. I love these river eyed. My fifth one of the season. Right, let's get away. Well, the eyed are getting bigger. This one is uh, four pounds, 15 ounces. Lovely fish. What a beautiful river fish. And it's a uh, fort like stink to try and weed me up. Got me weeded twice, but I managed to uh, pull her free. But uh, what a fantastic season I'm having on the river so far. This is my fifth eyed and it's the biggest. 415. I have seen some bigger ones today, but doesn't look like they're playing ball. Seven o'clock and uh, they're not really having it. So I think I'm gonna pack up, try again another day. Right, let's get this one back. There she goes, into the middle of the river. Lovely big fish on bread flake. Just got another nice eye on. Floating crust again. And she's in the net. Yeah, another good eyed. Floating bread again. She looks about four pounds. Let's get her out and have a look. Nice early morning eyed. Well, early bird catches the worm, so they say, and Colin catches the eyed. Exactly four pounds this eyed, and it took right on the surface. It actually jumped out for the bread, making sure the roach didn't get it. Fantastic, I wish I got that on film. Yeah, here's me four pounder. They're going well now, the eyed, but I haven't seen the big ones, the fives and the sixes. But when they come in the shape of this, four pounds, nearly five pounds, doesn't really matter. So long as I'm fishing and I'm catching fish, I don't mind. It's all good sport, and uh, I wish I did more of this floating on the surface. It's absolutely amazing. Especially for big roach too. Right, let's get this one back and uh, see if we can get one of her friends. Beautiful. Yeah, most of these eyed are immaculate. I mean, this one's fin perfect. There's the power. And they absolutely adore floating bread. Yeah, it's very important to rest the fish, give it five or so minutes so she can get her breath back. Otherwise, you don't want to go in floating downstream, belly up. That's not good for you, and it's not good for the eyed. Or any fish, like barbel, for example. They need time to recover as well, because they put so much energy into the fight. As you can see, her fins, her fins are working okay. She's facing the right way up, which is a good sign.
There she goes, underneath the boat. Another big river roach on bread. Lovely. Oh yeah, that's a nice river roach. That's got to be getting on for a pound is that fish. Beautiful. I love river roach. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's get it out and have a look at it. Well, the fog's come in now and the roach have started to feed. This is my fourth roach. And this one's 14 ounces. I have seen bigger in there. Absolutely gorgeous fish. I say the shoal's just moved in and they've just started to feed. Which is absolutely bloody brilliant. Right, let's get this one back and see if we can catch a few more of his show mates. Lovely. Yeah, beautiful river roach. Lovely. This one is actually fin perfect. Oh, what a lovely river roach. You just stuck on a piece of weed there. And in the net. Yeah, there's the hook. Just in the scissors. There we go, nicely out. Right, let's wear the fish. Yeah, here's my river roach. One pound six, as you can see. Seems to have been attacked by a cormorant and created an ulcer or something, and there's another one here. Apart from that, this roach is fin perfect took bread on the surface. Lovely fish for the river. Well, I've just had a beautiful one pound six roach off the surface on bread flake. Now that is a beautiful roach. Uh, she's got a few marks on her, but uh, that's probably due to the, the cormorants. She's got a couple of what I think are ulcers on the other side, which I think are the cormorant, but I'm very pleased to catch this fish. It is a beautiful river roach, and it took in the sunlight as well. Cracking fish. Right, let's go and bait up again and see if we can get any more of our friends. Lovely. Yeah, this is the best way to return the fish in the, uh, in the net. Give it plenty of time to recover. As you can see, this roach is nearly ready to go. The fin's working perfectly. She's the right direction. I think what I'm going to do now is try and do it this way if I can. And she goes into the side. Here we are just near dark. I've just got another river ride on. Yeah, nice river ride. Just on dark. Let's go on and hook him and see how much he or she weighs. Well here we have another river hull ride. Bit smaller this one. 
312, but in superb condition, took floating bread on the surface again. Well, it's at last knock-ins now, and I've just managed a, an eye off the surface. £3.12. There we are, another nice eye from the river on my favourite method, floating bread along the surface. Hard work today, I've been here four hours and this is me, my first eye. Lovely. Yeah, beautiful river ride. Just weighed a £3.12. Nice fish. Fin perfect. Right, let's get her back in. Just resting in there. Just getting her breath back. Because she put up one hell of a scrap. It's very important when river fish do fight is you give them plenty of time to recover. I mean, she may only be £3.12, but she's a lovely fish. And she uh, took Bray Flake on the surface. So she deserves all of my respect. There she goes. Yeah, she wants to go. There she goes. Boy, that was hard work. I say about three, three and a half hours trying to catch one on the surface and it's round about 10 o'clock time to go home on the last cast she sucked the piece of bread under beautifully and the uh, battle commenced it just went over a reed bed and bang so £3.12 I'm happy with that uh, I've had one or two chances where the eye'd have come up and uh, nudged the bread but I haven't taken it so um, I'm pleased with that